we didn't get to where we are now by some random roll of the dice. What happened today is built on what happened yesterday, is built on what happened last week. You know, just how did we get where we are isn't irrelevant. Oh, there we go. I'm Bill Barrow. I'm head of special collections at the Michael Schwartz Library, Cleveland State University. We have two types of things in here. One are published materials that you can find at other libraries, but then there are the collections that only we have. We seem to be particularly big on photography. The Cleveland Press Collection has a half million photographs in it, and being news photographs, they tend to be visually interesting. So it's just as you prowl around, you find all sorts of things. You know, we have a a neat picture of the Statue of Justice being removed from the old courthouse. You know, and there's something very symbolic about seeing justice all tied up in these big ropes being lifted off. We, right from the beginning, made a concerted effort to make that collection accessible to everybody, including the media. And then in the mid-90s, we started doing stuff online, and in 2002, created the Cleveland Memory Project. So I found that the more we put up, the more people find us and add to it. And uh, I'm always getting uh, emails from people correcting something or pointing out that a photograph's impossible to figure out because it must be backwards. And we kind of crowdsource Cleveland memory to some degree. So just going back and finding a picture of Mr. Jingling in the, what we call the individual section of the collection. One person's father had been a Mr. Jingling, and we had the picture misidentified. So she wrote to us over Christmas and said, no, that's my dad in that picture. It actually is a man named Tom Movial. Uh, he had always dyed his slippers gold, and we had to make that correction today, which we're glad to do. A picture of the Cuyahoga River fire. That's the most popular shot. Everybody seems to want that. The problem is there is no picture of the Cuyahoga River fire, the Cuyahoga River fire, the one that everybody talks about that led to the Clean Water Act and got made it into Time Magazine and all the comics made fun of Cleveland's burning river. All of that was a fire that was so inconsequential when it happened that we didn't even bother taking a picture of it because it had happened so many times before. Now when people want pictures of the Cuyahoga River fire, which they do all the time, uh, they end up taking one of the other several we have from other fires in previous years. This collection just came in. It had been left to us in the will of a lady named Jennifer Bates. I met Miss Bates in 2005 when she called and asked if I would be interested in having her collection put into her will to give to us someday. Then I discovered that her eBay name was quite familiar to me. And whenever this person came online, we just gave up because we knew we were never going to outbid the person. They, they would just bid and bid and bid until they won it. Well, now I'm meeting who this person is, finally, you know. So I went through the house, and it was just an amazing collection of stuff. So one of these days, you know, we'll start taking these collections apart and filing them away, digitizing them. Some of the ancients are only known through a few small quotes from some of their contemporaries or successors. Uh, and I just saw that we're at another one of those points. That's why I'm really so big on things like Cleveland memory and digitizing, to ensure that they're accessible today, but also that they aren't lost somewhere in the shuffle. I think that's important, I mean. <laughs>